everyone this is gomati today we are going to learn about floating action button popularly known as fab basically an fab is used for grouping quick actions on a page and is most often placed at the bottom right of the page let's have a look at inbox.google.com to get an idea about how a floating action button actually looks like here you can see a plus icon when you hover on it you get a list of options clicking on this compose icon will take you to compose option you can set reminders and you can send emails to these contacts directly so this seems to be of great use for performing quick actions in our website why don't we create something similar to this okay let's get started by creating a html file and title as floating action button and let me create a h1 tag and put the title here before we begin let me explain what we are going to create in this lesson we are going to create fab for help and support actions say for example the options will be like documentation video tutorial and so on so we need to have the help icon in place of the plus icon and appropriate icons for all other actions for this we can make use of the free icons from fontawesome.com navigate to the how to use here you can find the cdn all you need to do is just copy this and paste it inside our html document now we are going to concentrate on the layout of the fab let me create a div which is going to act as container with a class fab container we'll add styles to these classes in the later part of the video now we need to create a button at the bottom right so let me create it using another div tag with class fab icon holder and an i tag with the class fas fa question you might wonder how did i write like this you can just refer the font awesome website to learn how to use these icons this line of code will include the icon in our page Okay, let's check how it actually looks like in the browser. Frankly speaking, it's not at all looking good. So we need to add some CSS styles to this page. Let me create a new CSS file and I'm going to link it in our HTML document. Okay, now let's write the styles. It's always good to start with reset CSS. So for all the elements I am going to set margin as 0, padding as 0. For the body I am going to use font family as monospace and background color as f4 f4 f9. Now I want to bring this h1 tag to the center of the page. In order to achieve this let me add some styles here. So here is the formula display flex align item center justify content center now i'm going to set the font size as 3 em and color as 44444 44. okay let's check it in the browser as you can see this h1 is aligned to the horizontal center but not to the vertical center actually it is aligned to the vertical center but because of the h1's height we are not able to see it So let me set the height as 100 vh where vh stands for viewport height. I think I have added this by mistake. Okay, let's check it. All right. Since we want to have the fab container at the bottom right, I am going to set the position as fixed and bottom as 50 pixel. right as 50 pixel and z index as 999 and i'm going to set the cursor as pointer now let's add some styles to the question mark icon so fab icon holder with width as 50 pixel height as 50 pixel To get a circle we need to set the border radius as 100 percentage background color as 016f b9 finally some decoration work so box shadow as 0 6 pixel 20 pixel 
आर जी बी ए ज़ीरो कमा ज़ीरो कमा ज़ीरो कमा पॉइंट टू एंड हॉवर इफेक्ट फैब आइकॉन होल्डर हॉवर विथ ओपेसिटी पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एट ओके लेट्स गिव इट अ शॉर्ट ओके द आईकॉन इज नॉट अलाइन प्रॉपरली सो लेट्स एड सम स्टाइल्स टू इट सो टू ब्रिंग द आईकॉन टू द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल विल यूज द सेम फॉर्मूला डिस्प्ले फ्लेक्स अलाइन आइटम सेंटर जस्टिफाई कंटेंट सेंटर एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली वी नीड टू सेट द हाइट इज हंड्रेड परसेंटेज ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द फोन साइज एज ट्वेंटी फाइव पिक्सल एंड फाइनली द टेक्सट कलर एज वाइट डबल एफ डबल एफ डबल एफ ओके लेट्स चेक इट ओके नाउ वी नीड टू कंटिन्यू ऑन आर ले आउट लेट मी क्रिएट अ यू एल विद द क्लास फैब ऑप्शन एंड फोर एल आईज इन इट and let me copy these three lines of code and paste in all the four lis so all the lis must have the holder and the icon additionally we need label for each li so let me add it quickly i am going to use a span tag with class fab label so let me copy this and paste it here so this should be video tutorial live chat and feedback finally let's change the icons for documentation let me use fa file alt for video tutorial fa video for live chat let me use fa comments and for feedback fa comment alt that's all let's give it a shot let's write some css to fix this ui glitches first let me introduce a new css class here fab width as 60 pixel height as 60 pixel and background color as d2 3f31 This is just to differentiate the fab menu from the fab options. D two three F three one. Don't forget to add the CSS class to the HTML element. I guess this should be comment. And fab, okay. Now, for the fab options, which is UL, let's set the styles. fab options okay so let me set the list style type as none margin as zero we want this option to be displayed only when we hover the fab menu so this option should be arranged relatively in order to arrange we need to set the position as absolute bottom as 70 pixel right as zero by default we want it to be hidden for that i am going to use opacity as zero okay on fab hover I want to add some CSS styles to fab options. So fab options and I'm going to set the opacity as 1. Let's test this quickly. When I hover fab menu, the options are coming up. Oops. I am not able to access. This is because we missed to include CSS for fab options hover. so i am going to include fab options hover okay now that's fixed button label and button are not properly aligned in order to fix that let me add some styles so fab options li display flex justify content as flex end and padding 
as 5 pixel and for fab label I'm going to set the padding top and bottom as 2 pixel left and right as 5 pixel align self as center to bring the text to the center user select as none to disable text selection white space as no wrap just to prevent the word from breaking and finally some decoration goes here border radius as 3 pixel font size as 16 pixel background color as double six double six double six background color as double six double six double six and the color as white double f double f double f and box shadow as zero six pixel twenty pixel rgba zero comma zero comma zero comma point two and margin right as ten pixel okay it's time to test our product let me hover the fab menu mm, I guess something has gone wrong let me check the code okay this span element must come outside the fab icon holder so let me make the changes I shall do the same for all the three allies as well okay I think this should have been fixed let's check okay so I'm getting the options properly now as you can see the way the menu is coming up is not smooth to make it smoother let me add some transitions so for the fab options I'm going to add the transition property as all duration as 0.3 seconds and timing function as ease now the transform property at the initial stage I want to set the scale as 0 and this transform should start from the right bottom of the page so let me set the transform origin property with x axis as 85% y axis as bottom and don't forget to reset the scale so within hover I am going to set the transform property as scale 1 let's test this quickly now I'm getting all the fab options when I hover the fab menu actually we didn't add any actions to the fab options if the options must redirect to another page you can use an a tag or if it has to perform some action within the page you can add on click event to the corresponding element okay that's all you have learned to create an FAB isn't that fabulous if so, please do share with others and consider subscribing to the channel if not already done. Check out the video description below to download the source code. Thanks for watching. Meet you soon in the next video lesson. Take care. Bye.